My dessert today is mango sorbet, and this recipe is really quick and easy. You first need to make a stock, which I have here. In this, you have four ounces, 110 grams of white granulated sugar, and half a pint or 290 mils of water. I'm just going to leave that on the stove heating there. I'm going to bring it to the boil, and then I'm going to just let it simmer. Now, whilst that's happening, I'm going to just show you how, how to peel a mango. Is there any particular reason why you're using white sugar? Um, I, I think it just works better with sorbet. That's why I'm using white sugar, because I think it, it dissolves better. Right, so I peel this mango. And the way to test a mango, actually, is to just press your thumb around it. And if it gives and it springs back, you know that you've got a decent mango. I've got one here that, um, that's already been cut. So I'm just going to slice it. And then the stone is in there. And then I will add this to, I will puree this. And this is what it will look like when it's been pureed. So to this pureed um, mango, you need 12 fluid ounces, 259 mils of stock syrup. And to that, I'm going to add the juice of a lime. And then I will mix it round and put it in a, I'll put it in a plastic container to freeze for about three hours. And this is how it should look. This is one I made earlier. And to this, I'm going to add the beaten egg white. Beat the egg white nice and stiff. Add it, it, actually, if you've got an ice cream maker, you can actually do this at home, and, it, um, and it's much easier, and, and you get a much more sort of smoother, um, smoother consistency. Put in that, uh, Actually, you can see I've just, um, it's just a little bit too hard, but never mind. It's better to be that way than too, too soft. Right, and then I'm going to give it a good mix. Mangoes are really delicious, and it really is worth making the effort. What does the uh, egg wine actually do, then? It lightens it. Consistency. Right. And now, here's one, here's one I made earlier. And um, this is how it should look. It's all nice and firm. can smell the juiciness of it. It really is nice. Just decorate it with a, a little bit of mint. And here's the finished dish, the mango sorbet. I hope you enjoy it. So now the moment of truth has come for the Cooks Club to give their verdict. And the big question, what do you think of the quail? Would you eat it at a dinner party? I would, it's absolutely delicious. You can really taste the um, coriander and stuff on it. Brilliant. That'll do Thank for you. me. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, beef wellington. Red wine sauce, vegetables. What do you think? Mm. Oh, this is great. Yeah? One of my favourite main courses anyway, but the red wine sauce, the mushroom, parma ham. Yeah. Perfect. And the red wine sauce is quite acidic to go with, with the rich pastry and, and so on. But the beauty of this dish is that you can prepare everything in advance. And so, you know, you don't feel sick of... You, know, you can actually sit down and enjoy the meal you've prepared. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. thanks very much. Thank you. So, what do you think of my dessert, the mango sorbet? Well, the egg white certainly works. It's very light. Do you, feel, do you find it refreshes the palate? Definitely. And that's what it's Definitely. supposed to do. Definitely. Really taste the lime as well. Can you taste the mango, though? You certainly yeah. can. <laughs> Jean, that looks so refreshing. I could do with a spoonful of it just to cool me down after all this hot cooking. Can You've I enjoyed it, obviously? <laughs> Look like you have. <laughs> well, I hope you've enjoyed it as well, because that's all for today. And I hope you've enjoyed our special dinner party. You can find all these recipes on Fortel and the Channel 4 website. See you soon. Bye for now. Bye now.